Welcome back to Jersey Matters. It's a fact of life that few things last forever, including structures that hold historical significance. In the borough of Flemington, some are fighting to save the old Union Hotel. The hotel has been vacant for more than six years. Now historians and others are trying to keep it from being demolished as part of a proposed redevelopment plan. The plan would bring retail, restaurants and other businesses to the borough and breathe new life into the downtown area. Some say the historic structure should and can be saved within that plan. But there are also a number of people eager to say goodbye. Sherry Carabin has more. Sherry. Thank you, Larry. One of the main points of contention here in Flemington is the potential loss of the historic Union Hotel. The hotel is the site where both reporters and celebrities stayed as the famous Lindbergh kidnapping trial played out right across the street in 1935. We really don't have enough folks to support our Main Street. But with a large-scale development project in the works, this planning board chair and other officials in the borough of Flemington are hoping that won't be the case much longer. The proposal by local developer Jack Cust is expected to reinvigorate the downtown, drawing in more residents and tourists. It includes a new hotel, parking deck, residential housing, a pedestrian plaza, stores, restaurants, and perhaps a community college. The development will help us because it will draw more people to the main street, um, more tourists, um, if they do residential, more people to keep them in the borough rather than going to New Hope, Lamberville, to leaving the borough. But not everyone is on board. This resident, who owns this renovated mixed-use commercial property on Main Street, says what's being proposed is just too big. I feel it is out of scale with the town by a, by a wide margin. I'm in favor of higher density development here, but I am not in favor of six and seven story buildings. It's just too large and too, too high, high density for this town. But perhaps the most controversial part of the plan is that the block that's slated for redevelopment includes several historical buildings that are expected to be demolished. The one drawing the most attention is the prized Union Hotel. The building was used by reporters during the 1935 Charles Lindbergh baby kidnapping trial. The proceedings against Bruno Richard Hauptmann took place in the courthouse directly across the street. The hotel is, is the centerpiece of the town. It's everyone in the county knows the hotel. It's, it's part of our history. It's part of our heritage. Um, even without the Lindbergh trial, I think to lose the hotel is to lose the, the feel and the ambiance of, of this historic district. It's over 60% of the buildings are historic. I think it's a great idea um, that they do it. Um, I think different things, being that I was born and raised here, seeing the hotel actually come down is tough, you know, seeing that. But um, if there's any way that they could build, um, like, around it and uh, incorporate the buildings would be, uh, would be good. Officials point out that when the planning board declared the Union Hotel an area in need of redevelopment in 2010, it had already been vacant for years. The Union Hotel as it stands today has not been inhabited since mid-70s. The mid-1970s was the last time anybody was upstairs in that building. So we're not talking about something that happened overnight. The restaurant closed in 2008. The planning board chairman says the area has now become an eyesore, which some even consider unsafe. Since 2010, three other Main Street buildings south of the hotel have been included in the area of redevelopment designation in an effort to make it more attractive to potential developers. While officials say something must be done to revitalize the area, they stress that the proposal by Jack Cust is still in the concept stages, and it will likely undergo a number of revisions before it's approved, giving the public additional time to weigh in. We are um, in the fairly early stages of working with the redeveloper to see what, if anything, can be done to save them or save parts of them. Whether or not the developer comes up with a way to save the hotel and the other historic buildings remains to be seen. The mayor expects to get that answer sometime soon. Even if the historical buildings can't be saved, this business owner believes redevelopment is still a must. You can't let a whole Main Street go to save one piece of history. We have other historical places in the town. 
This is Sherry Carabin reporting for Jersey Matters. All right, thank you, Sherry. When Jersey Matters continues, recently volunteers helped to clean up New Jersey beaches. You aren't going to believe some of the stuff they found. We'll take inventory when we come right back.